Hey you guys, it's Michelle with Moxie in Motion and today we are going to talk about lateral raises. So these are something I see done in the gym in a wide variety of ways, some not so good, some better than others. And so I wanna just point out a few things to pay attention to when you're doing these to A, make them more effective and also make them much safer. The shoulder joint is a very delicate joint that I'm sure you know somebody who they've had an injured shoulder, they've had rotator cuff issues. So it's something you definitely wanna make sure you're using in the proper fashion. So lateral raises, we've all seen them done. We're gonna take the weight straight out to the side, right? few things to pay attention to. One, you want to always try to move in a scapular range of motion. This is the range of motion that is natural to your joint, not straight out to the side. This actually puts a little bit more pinching in the joint and can cause more stress on it. So keep it, I always say, in your peripheral vision. Secondly, you want to kind of keep a slight bend in the elbow. Yes, keeping a perfectly straight arm is going to put more stress on the shoulder, which you'd think would be good to challenge yourself. However, it also puts a lot more stress on the elbow and on your tendons and on your elbow joint, which isn't as strong and you could very easily injure. So keeping that slight bend is gonna save your elbow joints in the peripheral vision. Another thing you wanna pay attention to are your wrists. A lot of times I see people, their wrists are either pointing up or they're pointing down. Again, a lot of stress on that joint. Keep your wrists very nice and strong throughout the entire movement. If they're pulling down, drop the weight and practice until you're stronger. You don't want to injure these joints. You're not going to be doing anything for a long time. Another key thing to remember is only come up to parallel with your shoulders. You don't need to go above your shoulders, just to 90 degrees. And always make sure you're pulling from the shoulder. Don't push the weight up. If your wrists are above your elbows, you're not doing a proper lateral raise. Let me show you now that we've put all those tips out there, how it looks. I always like to have a little squeeze and pause at the top. If you can't do that, you're probably lifting more weight than you should be. You should be able to control the weight nicely. And of course, you can always do these standing too if you prefer. Just make sure you keep your core tight and you're not swinging. Nice and controlled. There you have it, the proper form on a lateral raise. Make sure you watch yourself in the mirror, have a friend video you so you can make sure you're doing those correctly so you don't injure the shoulder joint. If you want more tips on ways to do a lateral raise, check out my next video, <laughs> Lateral Raise of Three Ways. That's tongue twister. I've been thinking lately. Hey you guys, it's Michelle with Moxie in Motion. And today, okay, I'm gonna start that one over.